on today, YouTube? All right, today is the day, if you guys don't know, uh, we are putting the air dog on today. I've never done one before. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I do know that I'm doing it myself in front of my house, uh, just to show that you don't have to pay somebody to do this. Um, I'm pretty sure if you pay somebody, it's probably gonna be like a four or $500 job. Me personally, I think the biggest thing that scares people away, that scares people away from wanting to do this job is they're scared to drill into their tank. I think if people didn't have to drill into their tank, I think they would be more more engaged in, or more more biased towards doing it. But nonetheless, we're gonna do it. Um, I never did a driving video, like a driving while talking video. I got you guys on the GoPro right now. Um, I don't use my GoPro a lot unless I'm doing road clips like this one, because I have my camera that I use. So let me know how you guys, uh, what you guys think about it. You know, sound quality, uh, rocks and dirt and, and it's just, it always falls in my, in my eyes and it's really annoying. So yes, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm doing it at the car wash because I don't wanna do it in my driveway because that's where we're gonna be working at and I don't wanna get all wet, my back wet and stuff. I don't have a, I don't have a creeper or a top side creeper. I really need to invest in one. Uh, I'm just lazy. Every time I think about buying one, I think about another part I can put on the truck. Um, I think this, I think right now would be a good time to talk about what, what's coming after this, um, to, you know, for the, for the truck. Um, I'm probably not going to use this entire film, but I think this would be a good time to talk about that stuff. Uh, so with every good performance mod comes a precautionary mod you have to do. Uh, you can't just throw all your eggs in one basket for horsepower and torque and not do any preventative uh, mod maintenance and stuff like that because then you're just going to waste all your money and you're probably going to burn, fry, or melt something. So with that, um, I was definitely, and I know I mentioned, I talked about the Redhead steering box before, but the Redhead is about a hundred bucks more, but um, compared to what I really think I need to get next, which is going to be some gauges. Uh, the only thing I'm using right now for monitoring and uh, temps and whatnot is the H&S guys have a mini max you know it's really small you can only monitor what what is it two four you can only monitor four parameters um i don't have an eet probe right now parameter so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna be looking to some gauges uh no i i was looking last night actually and is pro so i know greg a uses his pro a bunch of other people use his pro but his pro gauges are expensive i did not know they were that expensive my god like I went on there, I typed in, it's Pro Gauges, six point, uh, 2008 Dodge Ram, and it was $4.99 for three gauges. $4.99, like, wow, that was a lot. Um, and then I went to Glow Shift, and Glow Shift had three, three gauges for, uh, it was like $2.40 on eBay, brand new. So I'm probably gonna be going with that one. Uh, three gauges I'm gonna go with is gonna be a EGT fuel pressure, because I don't have a fuel pressure one, and I know that's really important. EGT fuel pressure, and then uh, the last one was gonna be uh, boost. So definitely gonna be looking into that. Um, well, I don't know about boost yet, because I get a boost reading on my, my Mini Max right now. And the third one is kind of up in the air. It can be a boost just because it might be more accurate coming directly, going directly to it. I don't know how the truck gets its reading for boost. Uh, maybe it's like a uh, some type of airflow sensor or something, I don't know. But yeah, definitely so. We're gonna get. We're gonna head to Walmart. Um, I'm not gonna keep rambling and talking and whatnot. So I don't want you guys to get bored and be like, "Oh, well, he's never gonna install it." So I'm, I'm gonna get back to y'all once we get to the gas station. Once we get to the gas station, uh, I'm gonna fill up the can and then we headed back to the crib. All right, you guys, I came back. We just got back from Walmart. Three buckets, five gallons each. I picked up some of this stuff. Uh, I used to use it. It was really good. So. This is it. I got. Oh, I also got the five can uh, gas tank. So we're gonna head up the gas station and then go back to the house. All right, cans filled up. We just finished topping it off. It was like 15 bucks, 14. We can go ahead, take it back to the house, and we're about to start working on this thing. All right. All right, guys, I'm back. So a little bit of time passed by, maybe like an hour. Uh, got everything set up. I was taking my time. I went through, read the instructions uh, for the air dog installation. It's going to be pretty simple. Um, I don't find it challenging. I think the hardest part is going to be just mounting it and dropping the tank. Um, other than that, it's going to be really easy and smooth. So I got everything set up here. Okay. So I got all my tools out. Got my tools lined up. Biggest thing when it comes to doing big jobs like this or just jobs that take a little bit of time, 
have all your, have everything you need before you start. Uh, don't just dive head first into it because you're going to, you know, waste time trying to find stuff. So I got all my tools I need. I got the fuel over there. I got my tools here. Got some gloves because, you know, working with diesel fuel it can irritate your skin. But here is the stuff, okay? Air Dog 4G. It looks so good. Like, I almost just want to stare at it, but not even install it. But I got the Air Dog here. Uh, I have some motor oil because you uh, it tells you to use oil on these guys so I got a little oil can pump here all the parts are not they're not all laid out but I just have everything out so I can see it um sump is over here because we're gonna be doing rocking the RDP fuel sump one bolt uh, sump I heard the one bolts are the good ones because the ones with two or three bolts are weak uh, it, it even came with the drill bit uh, to drill out the tank we're good on that we got my fucking no, we got the uh, the five gallon buckets, I bought three of them at Walmart. They were like two fifty a bucket, so I thought it was really cheap. Uh, however many I use is how many I'm gonna keep. Uh, if I don't use it, then I'm just gonna return them. So I got all that set up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start rocking this out. I'm gonna put you guys on the camera. Uh, it's gonna be a time lapse now, uh, real quick. Hey, so real quick um, with this, the reason why you can, can you can if this helps you install it, and so be it. But I'm not going to be going step by step by step. Uh, honestly, I think it takes way just a little bit too much, too long for it. Um, like I said in the video, AirDog has a video on there. They have, I know for a fact they have a Duramax video and they have a Cummins video uh, on there explaining step by step how to do it. And that's what I'm using. I will leave the link for that in the description below. But I will stop in between points to be able to tell you guys kind of like what I did. Um, if you don't notice it on the time lapse, so. You know, I, I don't want this to be an hour-long video at the same time, too. So that's all. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. But we're gonna, nonetheless, like I said, we're gonna put you guys in time lapse, and we're gonna get it started. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and got my got the pump set up. Uh, I got the fittings put on the right side. You can't really, can really mess them up. Uh, got the bracket set up. It was super easy. It doesn't tell you what hard, it, it shows you what hardware to use, but it doesn't sit there and tell you use bolt B for you know. No, it's not like that. So. They're all one size, so you got to kind of just figure it out. Uh, these were 716 nuts, and they're all Allen keys. Um, I used a 316, yeah, 316 Allen head uh, for this one and these ones. So this was a 716, and this was a half inch. I got a socket and a ratchet and snug them all down. They have lock washers on them, so you don't have to worry about them coming out. Uh, for these guys, though, and they specifically tell you to torque because you have to torque in the spec. Uh, if you have a torque wrench, you use it. If you don't, like me, I have torque wrenches, but not torque wrenches that can do five foot pounds. And uh, I forgot what the other one was. I think it was ten. The lowest I have is twenty. So I've torqued a lot of things, um, you know, working on aircrafts and stuff. So I kind of know what ten foot pounds and five foot pounds feel like. Plus, this is an aluminum block. These are aluminum fittings. Uh, aluminum is a, is a soft metal. It's really easy to sh uh, strip and shear and break off. So, you know, really you're just tightening, tightening it. You get that sharp rise of torque when you're turning it. Just barely like an eighth of a turn after and you'll be good. Uh, it's better that you don't tighten it enough because worst thing that can happen is when you go to prime the pump, you, you'll notice the fuel coming out. So all you can do is just snug it up until it stops and you're good. Oh, compared to monkey wrenching it and next thing you know, you snap it off in the in the block so just keep a reminder um for after that i was trying to find the location where i wanted to put the pump um so i have air airbags under here uh you know for like hauling and stuff this is the pump for it i was almost considering putting it there but that's out of the question so now i'll give you guys a relevance all right the tire is there this is the body the back door come down right there okay um the only thing i'm curious about is that e-brake but i don't think that's going to be a problem because i don't use my emergency brake like that and when i install it i'm just going to make sure that it clears so i'm going to go ahead and get her hard mounted well i found the position so i want to put her here but 
I'm going to start looking into taking this tank off. Um, it's I don't have a lot of room. I'm starting to look and notice that I don't have a lot of room to take this tank off. So if I don't have enough room to take this tank off, I might have to go and get a jack to jack up the truck um, to get it up in the back. Actually, I got some I got some roll pans. I'll just roll up on it. That's what I'll do. All right, you guys, be right back. All right, guys. So I had to. I got the truck on jack stands. Uh, you guys know where I am putting the air dog at. I have to drop, drop this down to the lowest one because it's hitting uh, the top of the cab. Because that pump that's already on there for my air ride, uh, that that is where the pump probably should have went, but it can't go there because that's there, and I really don't feel like rerouting it. So I'm gonna have to drop this down here. Uh, but I just had to let you guys know that. So. I messed up, I guess. I should have, what I should have done, AirDog doesn't really tell you until you you assemble it, but I should have put uh, the plate on first, and then I should have put this on last. Like, I should have matched it up, figured out where it would clear at, and then put it on. But I did it backwards, but it's not a big deal. Um, I'm just going to take these bolts out, swap them, put them down, and we should be good. All right, you guys. So, I went ahead and disconnected the two fuel lines here. One's the overfill, one's the fuel that goes into the tank, right? So you want to disconnect that cable on top of the sending unit before dropping the tank so with that this is how the air dog looks too by the way I've already started working the front the front one down uh, when I get back under there I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like okay uh, but real quick if you guys didn't know and I know it's real dark but if you look back in there huh, that piece that's the top of your sending unit I have a perfect angle perfect view to reach it and be able, if you got long arms like me it, you're lucky I got a perfect view um, to be able to reach it and disconnect the electrical uh, connector or whatever else is up here. So this is a huge tip. Uh, I haven't heard anybody mention this um, when it came to dropping the tank. But if you're trying to, you know, some people say take the drive shaft out. It makes it easier. But if you're doing it in the yard uh, in front of your house, you got little baby jack stands. Reach through here, uh, through the back left tire right back here behind the fuel line and you can see it clear as day so I'm gonna do that um, and get it disconnected the cable the connector and then she'll be ready to come down she does have about a quarter tank of fuel in it so she probably is gonna be heavy all right all right she's out um, I had to take the tank I, I dropped the tank yeah she's filthy so I'm gonna go ahead and clean her up uh, get all this dirt and stuff cleaned up before I pop the uh, basket off of it and then go from there okay put you guys on the stand a lot of time went by this takes a lot longer than I actually thought it would take so GMB. yeah synesthetic hold it down hold it down hold it down when I come in town stretch it down stretch it down we don't play around Play around, play around, your bitch is gone now She gone now, she gone now I'm about to call it up, call it up, call it up I just pulled up, pulled up, foreign, foreign With a dolly sauce, dolly sauce, dolly sauce yeah, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all It's about to pull down, pull down, pull down uh, Out of it, it was kind of tricky taking it out Because it's not just a simple pull up and out and make sure you don't hit the float you, you gotta I had to kind of get a flathead and kind of wedge around it to get it out all the way nonetheless I got it out um this is what I was talking about at the bottom of the basket I don't think I messed up anything uh, I didn't drill through it all I did was drill through that screen so I, don't, I think everything's gonna be okay I'm gonna clean this up uh, probably just dip it in that fuel over there clean it up um, Put it back on and yeah um i'm gonna and then i have to go ahead and get this all set up take this old guy out cut this this cut the lines that I believe except the blue ones because those are going to be for the sensing unit so it can sense the fuel uh what else yeah that's really it though so this is it guys oh let me show you guys the inside of the tank real quick oh my flashlight i'm a madman over here i gotta clean up all this mess So, looking in there, it's not that bad. Uh, it wasn't like crazy gunk and stuff in there, so I feel kind of good about knowing the stuff I've been putting in the truck has been working. So, I went ahead and cleaned up the tank, pressure washed it off, 
got her all cleaned up so she looks much better now so yeah look at that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and end this out and then uh i will be back all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and close this out for now um this was it wasn't hard uh it's time consuming uh I sh if i would have started this morning like i really wanted to uh bright and early this morning i would have been done uh, i didn't start till about two o'clock and it doesn't get dark it starts to get dark here at about six maybe uh, about 6 30 the sun starts to set so i give me about four hours um i know you think four hours is enough but you know i was doing stuff in between getting phone calls so it was taking some time but when we come back tomorrow morning i'm kicking off bright and early probably around like eight and i'm gonna get this done uh that way i can have my truck for work uh this upcoming week um i'm probably gonna go ahead and get that basket set up uh off camera tonight while i'm out here in the garage and then go from there uh, also, uh, what else? That's really it now. Uh, it kind of sucks working at night now because mosquitoes are they're back and they're real. So, yeah. But nonetheless, hey, do me a favor. I know this video was all over the place and kind of weird or kind of uh, out of whack. Uh, do me a favor. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys that have been watching the videos and whatnot. They have been helping and the channel has been growing. If you're new to the channel, Please check out all my previous videos so you can get caught up and know everything about me with the truck and how the, how the channel is going and what's the ultimate goal for this uh, truck behind me. All right, I really appreciate you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, once again, thank you for checking me out. Thank you for seeing the content. Uh, give me a thumbs up, a like. Tell your friends, tell your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad. Tell everybody. It don't matter. <laughs> all right, so with the, that being said, until tomorrow, take care, be safe, have a good Saturday night. Peace out.